This what we doing? Did this what we doing? Why why are y'all so comfortable disrespecting people's faith like this? Do y'all know that people hold their faith closer than family, closer than friends? Do you know that do you know that like for us that are seriously living for Jesus out here, he is closer to us than anything? He's more important to us than ourselves. Why do y'all keep playing with the name of Jesus like this? Bro, y'all better wake up. Y'all better wake up to what's going on. People, who, who, the audacity, the, the audacity, man, who, I don't even know this dude. Who do you think you are? Why, why have we gotten so comfortable playing with God? That is the son of God you are mocking, who died for your sins. You are firsthand mocking your one ticket to salvation. And God warned us about this, man. 2 Peter 3, 3. Above all, you must understand that in the last day, scoffers will come. Scoffing and following their own evil desires. They will say, where is this coming, he promised. Ever since our ancestors died, everything goes on as it has since the beginning of creation. But they deliberately forget that long ago, by God's words, the heavens came into being and the earth was formed out of water and by water. By these waters also, the world of that time was deluged and destroyed. By the same word, the present heavens and earth are reserved for fire, being kept for the day of judgment and destruction of the ungodly. But do not forget this one thing, dear friends. With the Lord, a day is like a thousand years and a thousand years are like a day. The Lord is not slow in keeping his promise as some understand slowness. Instead, he is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come like a thief. The heavens will disappear with a roar. The elements will be destroyed by fire and the earth and everything done in, will, in it will be laid bare. Since everything will be destroyed in this way, what kind of people ought you be? You ought to live holy and godly lives as you look forward to the day of God and the speed it's coming. That day will bring about the destruction of the heavens by fire and the elements will melt in heat. But in keeping with his promise, we are looking forward to a new heaven and a new earth where righteousness dwells. So then, dear, fr so then, dear friends, since you are looking forward to this, make every effort to be found spotless, blameless, and at peace with him. Bear in mind that our Lord's patience means salvation, just as our dear brother Paul also wrote you with the wisdom that God gave him. He writes the same way in all his letters, speaking in them of these matters. His letters contain some things that are hard to understand, which ignorant and unstable people distort as they do other scriptures to their own destruction. Therefore, dear friends, since you have been forewarned, be on your guard so that you may not be carried away by the error of the lawless and fall from your secure position. But grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. To him be the glory both now and forever. Amen. This is ridiculous, man. We done got way too comfortable playing with the name of God. What are you doing? And we got people clapping and cheering this on. Man, you're going to face judgment. God not playing. Do you think all of this just came to be? Do you think life just happened? Are you that ridiculous? You playing with the one man that saved you. You putting that crown of thorns on me. You can't wear that crown. You ain't suited for that, bro. Whoever you are. You ain't suited for that. You put no makeup to fake lacerations on your back. You not built like that, bro. Come on, why are we playing with God? And why is this okay? Why are people cheering this on? Why is this getting likes? Why is this, what are we doing? Did you not hear what God said? How did he, how did he predict this thousands and thousands of years ago? How? Because God warned us this stuff was going to happen. He's outside of space and time. He saw this. All of this scoffing is going to be dealt with on judgment day. Repent, 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 repent. Ask for forgiveness. Give your life to God. God said in the last days, this type of stuff is going to be happening. When was the last time you seen people getting this comfortable with disrespecting God, disrespecting Jesus like this? And why is Jesus the only one they play with? Why every other religion, they not playing with it like that? Why are we playing with Jesus? I'll tell you why. Because Satan is at work. You better wake up. 
you better wake up and you better get right with God. And we got to pray for people. We got to pray for people. Whoever this dude is, I don't even know who he is. I guess he's some famous actor or something. Man, I hope you see this video. Man, give your life to God, bro. I tell you what, you, you made a real bad mistake in what you did, but, but you, can, you can get forgiveness if you go to God with an open heart. But, but, but what, you, what you did, man, that, that's unacceptable. Playing with God like that, bro. Are we serious? And I don't care. I, I don't care. I, I'm going to speak up on it, man. I don't care who got a problem with it. We're going to stop playing with God, bro. We're going to stop playing with God. This is ridiculous. But it's okay. God warned us about this. But God warned us about this. Wow. Wow. I, I'm, I'm, I'm disgusted, man. I'm disappointed. I, I'm disappointed. You, 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 that, you that thirsty for likes and views and clicks? You, you knew that I was going to get likes and views and clicks, bro. That, that, all of that, all of that status, status, all of that popularity, all of that money, what you going to have it for 60, 70 years? And then boom, in eternity. All of your status, all your popularity, all your riches, all them clicks, all that attention, it's leading to a six foot deep grave. Then what? Then what? In eternity. Ooh. People don't even know. Y'all don't know what y'all playing with. Come on, bro. We got to be better. Matter of fact, bow your heads. Let's pray. Holy Spirit, lead us. Holy Spirit, teach us to pray. Dear Lord, please have mercy on this generation, Lord. In, in the wisest words of your son, he said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. Oh, Lord, right now, I pray that you lead these people to repentance, oh, God. However you have to bring these people to repentance, oh, God, please bring it. Whatever measures you have to take to open people's eyes, oh, Lord, take it. If not that much of measure, then fine. If that much of measure, then make it be done, oh, God. God, please show mercy on us, oh, God. Please show mercy on us, oh God. Please bring many more people to salvation, oh Lord. Father, forgive us for where we have turned as a nation, as a generation, as a society, oh God. Lord, give the real believers, give the seekers of you the strength, the endurance to continue to act in love, to continue to spread the gospel, to continue to be patient while all of this goes on in the world. And God, for the, for the lost, Please bring them home, oh Lord. Whatever holes that the devil has on this generation, Father, I bind them out in the name of Jesus. God, forgive us, oh Lord. Jesus, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that people are playing with your name, playing with you like this. They are making a joke of your sacrifice that saved us, oh God, and they don't even care. Jesus, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Jesus, you are king. Your sacrifice meant something to some of us. We love you, God. Forgive us and forgive them, oh Lord. Show us mercy again, God. God, we love you and we pray for your deliverance. And we know that your will be, will be done. And Father, we're eagerly waiting for you to return. Whenever you're ready, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We love you, Father. We pray all this in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Playing with God, man. Playing with God. Repent, 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 repent. Repent. Repent and ask for forgiveness. We ain't got long. I can't tell you the day. I can't tell you the hour. I don't know that information, but I tell you what. When I read this book and I see God forewarned us about all this stuff, I get it. We ain't got long. Jesus, be with this nation. Please, please, in the mighty name of Jesus.